Another thing you can do is you can use what we call truncation tools. They allow you to search for all sorts of possible endings of a word all at once. So it's another way of broadening your search. For example, I could use Pollitt with an asterisk at the end. And what it will pull up are maybe politic, politics, plural, political, politician, politicians, politics and government, or politically, just as a few of the results. So if we wanted to try the truncation in Academic Search Complete, we just type in politic with the asterisk and search. You'll see that politics comes up, but look, even in one article, we've got politics and politicians. Both are highlighted because of how we use the truncation tool. Politica, which is what looks like a Spanish article, is also showing up. We can also get different languages that way as well. Politicians, political, um, political communication. So it provides you a range of different options. Political corruption. Just so that you can see how this would work in another database, I'm using JSTOR's advanced search, and I'm going to do Paulette asterisk as well. JSTOR is a huge database, and it is multilingual, so I'm just giving you a hint. I only want English, just so you can have a better list of results. So we're going to hit Submit. And look, we almost have 2 million here as well. So politics of, political and religious, political change, political security. So, I mean, even if you're not going to use this in a, a complete search strategy where you're actually focusing in on trying to find good articles, this could be a great way to practice locating keywords. Wildcard terms use an asterisk as a placeholder in a word to account for different spellings. When you're searching for a particular keyword, but you don't know which spelling is going to work best, you can play around with that as well. The reason why this could be useful is if you're using like British English versus American English. Color in the U.S. is spelt with C-O-L-O-R, but in other countries, say Canada or UK, color is C-O-L-O-U-R. That can sometimes affect the type of articles you're getting, and if you want a broader opportunity to explore it, you can do it that way. So let's try this in Academic Search Complete. C-O-L asterisk R. That way we will see if it'll pull up the different spellings. Take a look at this. So we have almost 400,000 articles. The first title is spelt O-U-R, but the subject area is it's O-R. So this really gives you a good idea of um, how it can work well. I will say it doesn't always work well in different databases. You may get C-O-L and a whole other word that you didn't want. So just use it methodically and don't fret if it doesn't always work the way you want. Phrase searching is really important. So what you're doing is you're searching for maybe a keyword that has two or more words to make its meaning. The best way to explain it is just using your name. If you're searching for a specific person, you want to put quotation marks around it to make sure that the search engine only looks for those words together. They have to be together in order for it to pop up. 
you don't want one part of the keyword in one section of the article and then the other part of the keyword somewhere else. The quotation marks will allow you to tell it specifically that it has to be together. My search is the Texas Revolution. I only want articles about Texas Revolution. No other revolution should be coming up. Let's try this in JSTOR. If I just put in Texas Revolution, it will sometimes come up with that term, but you can see it's also coming up Texas Revolt and American Revolution. So it can really be a challenge sometimes, and um, it's always worthwhile just kind of, if you know you want that specific term, especially if it's a name, you should add quotation marks. So we started off with just over 71,000. If we put quotation marks around Texas Revolution, what will it do? So we went from 71,000 to just under 1,000. So this time you will find Texas Revolution always together. So the, like I said, it's going to refine your search a lot more and make sure that you're not finding the two words in different places. It really does help to use the phrase searching tool. Which words use descriptive keywords to retrieve specific forms or types of information? Which words include using the keyword demographic? I want a population, a group of people. Or a case study means I want a scientific exploration of a particular topic to ensure that I have sound evidence. Statistics is another one. You want numbers to support your argument. Maybe you want a comparison chart or you're doing a literature review. You could use that as a keyword. Or say you just want to know a survey that was conducted on a specific topic. Let's try playing around in JSTOR with demographics. So I'm going to do witness. testimony and let's do demographics and notice they're doing population or statistics so you know you can play around with it in different ways so just by doing that I brought it down to 13 articles so that's pretty awesome now, not every database is built the same. In JSTOR, I could do the same thing. Witness, testimonies, and demographics. Just going to say I want it in English, please. And I'm going to submit search. All right, so I have 192. Whereas if I just did witness testimonies, just cut this out so you can see. There's a ton more articles listed, right? So we just narrowed it down and we're getting more, more specific information that we want.